Oh, oh, oh. 
her devotee, Vidyavati, a woman. Vidyavati would be born as Queen Kanchanamala, the wife of Mayat Vajakhandyan, ruler of Madurai, and God's Imam will be her child, Karadare. She asks Lord Shiva to come and marry her in Madurai. Lord Shiva agrees. Accordingly, Vidyavati was born as Kanchanamala to the Chora king Surasena and was married to the Pandyan king Malayadvaja. After many years of being childless, the couple performed the Putra Kamesh Yaga to pray for a child. From the sacrificial fire, a three-year-old female child with green-colored skin appeared. The queen and king were overjoyed and admired her beautiful fish-like eyes, moon-like face and exquisite form. Suddenly, they noticed that the child had three nipples and were perturbed. A divine voice was heard and it said, O king, name this child Taradake. Raise her as a son and crown her as ruler. Her third breast will disappear as soon as she meets her desired consort. As per the divine voice, young Meenakshi was tutored in all the branches of learning. She became a master of the 64 great arts, Mahavidyas, such as singing, Meena playing, and dancing.
sword fighting, and fighting on a chariot, elephant, and horse. When her training was complete, the king crowned Meenakshi to be the ruler of the kingdom. The whole kingdom celebrated the coronation.
happy new day. Sage Narada arrived in Queen Meenakshi's court. Narayan, Narayan, you have not conquered one kingdom, that of Kailasa. The Radha then left to be sage Mount Kailasa, the abode of Lord Shiva. In Kailasa, Nandikeshwara is guarding the place where Lord Shiva is in meditation. Meenakshi arrives in Kailasa to fight Lord Shiva and tells Nandi to go and bring Shiva so she can fight him. When Lord Shiva arrives and she sees him, her third breast disappears and she loses her heart to him. She bends her head in shyness. Lord Shiva says, he will come to Madurai eight days later and marry her. Thank you. 
Meenakshi prays to Lord Shiva and asks him to come to the wedding in his most beautiful form.
right in front of our eyes. He takes immense efforts to coordinate and organize such an extraordinary act. I, on behalf of everyone, extend my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to the organizers and the kids for portraying such a fabulous performance. Now may I request our temple founder, president and spiritual director, Dr. G. Krishna Kumar, to present a small token of appreciation to Guru. In our absence, may I request Chitra Narayanan to receive it on behalf of the Guru.
Sushila Srinivasan as King Malayadvajan and Vishnu. And backstage help, Snega Velayudan. Madhubita Anand. Divya Narayanan. And costumes by Kala Modi. And thanks to the group, uh, Guru Srimati Sudha Chandrasekhar for the choreographer and direction. Thank you. I thank you again. That was a great performance. We enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Give one more big applause for the wonderful dance drama. This is awesome. It's like Grace Minakshi and Sri Kalyanam and we had a beautiful dance drama. We all like thrilled to watch that. I am was thrilled to watch this. I was born on Minakshi and Sri Kalyanam. It is a fantastic program. Thank you very much. You should come back anytime and play for mother. Thank you. Now we will move and thanks to the organizer. Akila and uh, Visa, thank you very much. Now we are going to go to the